Yo, what's up, guys? This is the fourth podcast, and I'm joined with Kale and our new guest, Jackson. Kale, you want to tell us a little about yourself again? Just uh, refresh um, everyone's memory. Yeah, so I'm Kale. Um, I'm a racing driver from Wisconsin, um, the Mideast section of it, and uh, I'm Porter's cousin. That's me. All right, so Jackson, you are new on the podcast. You join us today. So uh, yes, yes, what, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from? Where you're, like... <sighs> well, I'm from Washington. Um, I met these guys playing some video games, and they had a lot in common. So here I am. Well, there it is. Um... Yeah, I don't really that. Uh, I do have, uh, some car work. Um, I'm into cars. I... Uh, that's kind of it. I mean, I don't do anything fancy like racing. I like to tinker in the garage and have a good time doing it. Yeah, so he's he's currently working on a Jeep right now in his garage. Didn't tell him about that, but... Oh, fine. <laughs> I guess I'll tell you about it. Uh, I've got a 51 CJ3A in the garage currently, and it is uh, made, up 90, uh, made up 95% Bondo and about 30... Uh, no. I was going to say, I don't remember the joke I was going to say, but 95% Bondo is majority of its uh, body. And uh, everything else is just kind of falling apart on it. So it's a slow process, but it's coming together. They're they're more interested in it than I am, but <laughs> keep saying to them. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's start her off with an icebreaker today. Kill, you want to lead us off on your, your uh, card update? Uh, oh yeah, how the so... racing go? So it's uh, April, so that means the the card season is about a the, about a start. And basically, what it is is the easiest way to explain it is if you ever go to say like an amusement park, you can find the go karts that you go race. What I do is a little amped up, and um, it's a lot faster, a lot more competitive. It's a pro circuit of racing. And um, so, yeah, the new season is just around the corner. Um, and I'm very excited. Actually, two days away, and I'm practicing. So, I mean, I'm going to freeze my butt off since I'm from Wisconsin, but I'm excited to be- get back in the cart. That's for sure. Cool, cool. Is your first race going to be club or? Um, I'm thinking so. Otherwise, if we don't get on the track for a race, it'll be in ohio for a regional race called ckna that we run so that's a four cycle only series um so that'll be in camden ohio at a track called g and j um they just repaved and put new curbing in the track so i'm super excited to see it but yeah that'll be on april and like april 21st i think is when that race is so excited to travel out there and see all my all my carding buddies and hopefully get a win there we go Hope so all right guys you want to dive into our first topic first yeah. sure why not first topic we're going to be talking about our point of views on heaven what we think heaven is like like is it a beautiful place is it just in the clouds what is your perspective on it when you when you die or what you picture heaven to be like is it going to be a kingdom a castle like what is your perspective on what it is um just to start us off right now kale you want to start us off uh sure putting the pressure on me but um (laughs) (laughs) yeah we have to yeah um so first off i guess i want to touch on obviously me and porter are cousins so we we like to spend a ton of time together so when we're when we're up north for i guess anything holidays or just random occasions um I think we touched on this all the time, and I think it really helps. It really helps how we um, see heaven, and it's great to see how other people think. But you can't, you can't just completely disregard what everybody else says. You got to listen, take it in, and compare it to what you have to say. So I guess when you're listening to this, don't just put everything we have to say out the trash. Listen to it, and I guess try and learn. But my idea on what heaven looks like is. I think I think that it's a it's a beautiful place. So if you ever think about like England or like old old castles, like I have a feeling like there's a there's a huge kingdom 
and that's where everybody can go to like see god and all that but then outside there's a very nice like super nice area just you can do you're living with your family and friends you can do what you want there and it's basically what you really enjoyed in life and you can enjoy it in your space in heaven that's my thoughts um porter what do you think well i like literally to go off of what kale said there um uh actually i picture something very similar to that there's going to be a kingdom obviously and like there's a, like a plane like where, when you first experience heaven it's obviously going to be like this huge like it's going to be like a plane with a, like a field like this is, remember guys this is what i think so like I, I just picture like a field with a bunch of like different flowers in it and you just see your family that you crave the most or whatever so um but basically like if you desire to do something there or spend time with people um you can go and do that or obviously like people we actually have something else to talk about like is it someone or it's a clone or uh, that stuff we'll get into that yeah, like that... maybe some other a deeper <laughs> one but that, that'll two, be interesting maybe. but if you if you think to yourself you're like hey i really want to go like four-wheeling with kale or something and he's like hanging out with me or something four-wheelers will literally just materialize and like tracks and like stuff and you can literally go on like four-wheeler riding or whatever or you want to go fishing like all of a sudden like you, you'll just you'll just go over to like a pond or something you start fishing or whatever kind of boat you want whatever kind of rod like a bait caster normal stuff like that <laughs> that's bit like literally what kale said just like adaptation just giving it a little bit more description like like me and him think very similar on this specific stuff but jackson i'm really interested to see what you think about what you believe heaven is going to be like oh uh, well honestly I, I i honestly picture like you talk there's like the beginning stage of like when you come in like you and you actually arrive it's like i met like i uh how i think of it it's like how you're talking about how there's like there you enter to it first and then there's like more afterwards but like i do think it's a more of a gate thing where you actually you before you can get in, you have to pass something. There is, like, either how the Egyptians are saying, if, like, your heart is equal or lighter than a feather or whatever, so, like, that. But, like, you, to order to get in, you have to pass something. Um, but then once you're in, I kind of, like, I, I see it more how Kale sees it, where it's, like, it's, there's a there's a central place. There's, like, gonna be like it's more of, like, around, like, a city in a sense, where it's just, like, this is the hub this is where you can go to god and you can talk to him or whatever like whatever it is or whatever it is up there but that's like the central place that the big thing that's the main building and then like maybe if there is like as you go farther out of the city more like how you're saying you live with your friends and your family where it's like the city set up where you know, maybe things won't materialize for you so much but like there is places but kind of like this is your home. Your closest friends will become your neighbors. But then it's like their closest friends are also their kind of neighbors. So you kind of get spread off into like a the farther you go from your house are different people, but the closer you are to your house are like the the, the family you have closest to you, if that makes sense. And then it's like to them that like the, the other people that you don't know, the closest they are to their house, it's people they know, and the farther they go from their house, it's people they don't really know. So kind of like is if you exp if you go away from your place you meet more people and you can kind of like i don't know just hit some of that's like a i don't know just kind of like a place you can just kind of meet more people afterwards and just kind of like talk people that have been there longer than you you can share stories and things like that and maybe like you said in uh porter where it's like you have you know you want to go fishing or you want to go f uh you know four wheel uh four wheeling it's like you know things will maybe not so much materialize in front of you but like you can go to certain places. Yeah, let's go here and like this. Um, it might like us like kind of like when like you see it in those simulation movies, where like something like will like form around you, where it's like, okay, you're gonna go over here. You might have to drive there, get your car, and go do something. But then it's like where you want to be is kind of like, it's not it's not it's not always out of too far reach. You know, you want to drive four hours, it's actually only twenty minutes. And then it's like everything's already set up there for you. It's like you like it's like you already had camp set up. You left, and then you came back or something. Hmm. In a sense. Yeah, I totally, I totally love where you're getting at that with that, and yeah, mm -hmm. I, uh, I totally agree. And I can't even believe that I kind of forgot about the entrance of coming to heaven. I, I totally left that out, and I'm just actually very surprised because that is one of the hugest things. Um, 
I know it's a, I know that doesn't really touch on it. I don't think in the Bible, but talking about pets making it. So oh, yeah. when, when I picture the entrance to heaven, I see walking up the staircase, like they talk about in the Bible and getting to the gates. And what they're going to ask you is, I think, why do you deserve as a Christian, of course, as a Christian, it can, it differs for other religions. Mm -hmm. How would you enter? But how I think will happen is you get to the, you get to the gates and it's going to ask you, why do you deserve to be in there? And as a Christian, the right answer is because you don't, because Jesus died for your sins. And, and if you truly believe that, then you'll make it into heaven. And then, um, what I see is even though it doesn't really touch on it, I don't think in the Bible, not that I've heard at all, but pets, I think, are the first ones that are going to greet you. Because mm -hmm. pets, we know, as we all know, pets in your life are a thing that will love you unconditionally. The second, the second thing that will, besides God, that will love you unconditionally is pets. That's, they love you the most out of anybody, no matter what. Like, no matter how you treat them. So I think that they will definitely be there, and that those are the first things that are going to run you. And, yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys both think the same as far as Jackson. I don't, Jackson, I don't exactly know, but I'm pretty sure it's the same for Porter. We could kind of rotate. Like, I'll, I'll, you'll yeah. go, then I'll go, then Jackson mm -hmm. can go. I want to touch on that just a little bit. So, like, when I picture it, like, exactly what Kale said, I think the dogs and the cats or, or whatever animals you have will just come, like, running towards you, and you can, like, greet them whenever you get out to the pasture or the field, wherever. Mm -hmm. And then um, you'll see one person standing in the distance, and it's Jesus. And then the, per the person you long for the most, what, you you'd see Jesus, you'd get to hug him and everything, right? Or, like, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do, and inter any interaction. And then... You guys step you guys step away from you step away from him and then who who you see next is the person you long for the most that you missed that you that died before you would walk um walk walk uh, from out behind jesus and obviously like for me it'd be my dad because i feel like my dad would be there and then all your family would just follow like from the side so mm -hmm. that that would be like a big intervention sort of a thing going on so um Jax, who I, I don't want to get yeah. too deep. Oh, here, yeah. Go, go ahead for you, who Jax. Do you, who do you, who do you, um, Jax, I don't want to get too deep, but who do mm -hmm. you think is going to be the first person after, you know, God, if that's what you believe, of course, after is God it? that you would greet? Yeah, that's where I don't really know too much. I mean, there's like people have died in my family, obviously, but it's like there has been people like I'm not really close to them, if you know what I mean. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. my great grandpa, um, he died in. Not too long ago, probably like a year or two ago now, but like we weren't really close to each other. Like we would visit, but we we weren't right. that close. And then so it's like that's what I don't know. I could see like I I agree with the pet thing though. Like that's like really the first thing that like because you know, like the, the field that like Inferno is ta uh, that Porter was talking about is like the field that walks uh, you walk into is like that's their area. That's where it's like kind of they it's like, it's like the dog park of heaven basically. And so that's where you 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 get to meet them first, so that like that's becomes like the dog park of heaven. That's where you get to see them first. Um, that's that's the kind of you have to walk through to get to like I just want like the main city. That's like the outskirts of the area, um, like the countryside, if you were to say. Um, but like I don't really have like a someone I'm like really missing. There's like I guess my um my grandma, uh, second husband. Uh, I never really met him. I've like. I've heard that like he really liked me like because he died probably I think I was six six or seven or something like that, so not like probably but again like half my last my lifespan ago, but like I never really actually got to meet him meet him so I think it'd be kind of something cool just to actually like, meet him and talk to him and whatnot that'd be like that'd be like my first person that I would see I guess. Mm -hmm. For me, for me, I think it would probably be even though I didn't really meet him, I think it would be my brother who had a who died in a miscarriage. Um, mm. And I think it would be the same for my mom too, or my, or her husband, of course, um, my dad. So um, yeah, that, 
I mean, it's, it's really hard to think about because so much changes throughout your life. So like, mm-hmm. as I get older, if I get married, have kids that could completely change. So yeah. Yeah, that's I, that's my thoughts. Honestly, Kale, I I would like like thinking about it like if if we were to all die tomorrow, like you the person you would find, like you would find like that would step out from behind Jesus and you'd be holding it Jesus would be holding his hand would be your little brother. That's what I think like I, for you. There's there's a couple other options that I think would be really um really important like mm-hmm. I don't I think I don't I can't really scale it because I love like so many people so much like Mm -hmm. like obviously even though i've never met him i really love my brother and that's just how it is because he's family but like also you could take in consideration my other cousin you my Mm -hmm. my grandpa um or my parents my sister like i could see all those people you know being there but it's just so hard to to tell really oh 100 percent. like because you don't know because like 60 years down the line you know, everything might change whoever dies yeah. like yeah. first before you it could change none of us have like, even reached 30 yet yeah because right. like for you for you jackson uh like like your grant your really cool grandpa like 30 <laughs> years down the line or 40 years down the line if you were to die i feel like he would just have like hey what's oh, up well, jackson yeah exactly. what's up buddy exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god to see what his place would be like there would be insane <laughs> Um, uh, that's like it's one thing too. I think it's interesting is like if I, I, I'm how I'm talking about it is where like how I was talking about like the whole city thing is like seeing how people that have died before you because I mean, like you said, it could be, um, anywhere from like this is like the now talking standpoint, but like as you get older and people that you've known now have passed, it's like what, what does their place look like? Because it's like okay, you like when you die, if you get like a home there, basically, this is this is you living in heaven now, is like how like how how do, how does buying things work is there a concept of eating of eating and drinking is there a concept no. of mati- there's nothing like that no so I'm, I'm yeah you there's no hunger there's no pain no and, hunger, like no. there's no sleep that's like mm, and then and, and like everyone has like 20 20 vision like your disabilities just go away so like if you were to have so like a brother that was disabled or like something maybe walking yeah there'd be right. yeah but like just to see like how things would be set up there to say it's like you know it's like obviously it's like okay you know he stepped, you know, like my was saying to you, Frank, my grandpa, you know, it's like, you know, steps out from behind Jesus. It's like, you know, are you, it's like you catch up with them and it's like, then do you guys, you guys just walk into city and it's like, they, this, are those kind of becomes your, like, does that become like your, um, what do you call it? Your, uh, like your tour guide, basically just like kind of something that's yeah. going to walk you through everything. Like, so. and that's what they, you know, it's like one of those things. It's like, you pa- you passed the entrance basically. You got into this. You didn't. You did. Uh, you did what you were supposed to do right to get into this, and it's like now here, just walking you through how you do things and whatever to see how people would have like their home set up too. It'd just mm-hmm. be interesting because it's just yeah. like I think we could so have an different. entire. I think we could have yes, an entire on conversation that. on this because yeah. this is honestly like so good. I well, cannot believe we already burned like eighteen yeah, minutes. Like, so. All right, Sorry. so uh, I'll carry us into the next one. So we guys, do not worry. Leave comments in the section if you liked our conversation on heaven. If you guys want us to go deeper into it, we will next time. Uh, for other, We're going to have plenty more videos. And let us know if you guys want Zach on as well for this because we're curious to see what you guys want to say about I think Zach's going to say about it. Um, so our next topic, hell. We already talked a little bit about heaven this podcast. Now let's talk about what we think hell is going to be like. Kill, we're gonna start you off. Go ahead. So yeah, what he what he said is I, I have a very interesting concept on this. Um what does it look like if you don't make it to heaven? Um kind of a kind of a just like heaven. I mean, you can't you can't really say you can have your own vision, but I was listening to some people talk about uh heaven, like a really popular um really popular preacher um on social media and i really love his teachings um but what does it look like if you don't make it to to heaven and you go to hell i to me i don't see because of how because of how god is and unless you worship satan <laughs> i don't see you actually going to what satan's hell is i see you 
almost floating in a space where it's just pitch black and your consciousness is the only thing that's there. And think about how bad it would be if nothing happened, like you were just sitting in complete and total darkness, nothing happened for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. You're just sitting there. Nothing's happening. You're lonely. Like it's, it's just like a blank, like you're away from God, basically. That's, that's how I see it. Mm-hmm. Well, you're away uh, from everything that God has created too, because mm-hmm. he's mm-hmm. created everything. So you're exactly. legit in nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So that, that would actually, that's pretty good. I never even thought about it that way. So that's pretty good. this is interesting. Cause we actually, we actually have a different vision on how this works. How, how, uh, how, how, how hell is different between our two viewpoints. All right, so my vision is a little bit different than yours, Kale, but um, we'll we'll see. So mine, so okay, this is how I kind of describe stuff, I like a generic because I need to give you guys like a foundation. So Earth is the middle plane where heaven is above and hell is obviously like below, right? Um, but Earth, you know how Earth like our the the current place we are the realm we're in there is goodness and there's also bad like we take the goodness with the bad like the giving the loving and then like the 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 murder and the the injustice you know what i'm saying you take the good with the bad here and def- depending on which realm you go to like heaven or hell it it changes like you only get the good in heaven and you only get the bad in hell you know what i'm saying so like just imagine like bad emotions like despair loneliness unhappiness like um just like self doubt, like you know, just like every kind of mm-hmm. like despair. Now, mm-hmm. this is gonna be kind of funny, but just bear with me. So picture, <laughs> picture like L.A., <laughs> but with no sun, <laughs> and all the skyscrapers are like half crippled down, and everything is like on fire. Like it's not on fire. It's not like it's just dark. It's really dark, and there's no moon. There's no sun, and it's just like. You can see like um garbage fires things st- stuff on stuff on fire every every this and that like little things. It's not like the entire city's burning, you know what I mean? It's just like there's a garbage pile over there and when you it's... walk when you walk down the street, there's like garbage bags everywhere. That like the, the the roads are completely trashed, the no power's on or like there probably is like one lamp post is on like every light every like couple you know what I mean? Like every hundred yards or something. And there's like homeless people like walking around and like just crazy people. It's literally like that. That's how I picture it. Like, it's just absolutely like lonely, terrible, desolate. Like it's like a desolate chasm and you, you're always hungry and you're just, and you're always lonely, that sort of a thing. You know what I mean? Does that kind of set it in a, a yeah, picture? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Just, oh yeah. When you look out at the, the ocean, oh yeah, there's smog everywhere. Like, have you ever been to LA or like big cities? Their smog is so mm. bad. Like you can't like you can see mm, haze, like glimpses yeah. of light, but it's yeah, really no far sun. away. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I know what you're talking about. And then you look out at the lake, and it's just red. The lake, the, I mean, the ocean is just red. It's not blue. So like, there's nothing pretty so about this place. But you can see the mountains has, in the background. All right, Jackson, hit it. <laughs> so everything, everything would have like a crimson like tone. Would, like you said, it it wouldn't be enough to be like, oh my god, like we're in a pit of fire. It would just be like more of like. It's there's just enough to give it like something happened here, like you know, like it, it, you know, st- shit went down basically. But yeah, and ev- everyone's like everyone that went to hell is there, and they're all just like mm-hmm. communicating with each other. Like it, it's very well, yeah. like sad, like I, I was, like really. It, it would him. almost kind of be like, like you would feel the, bad. You would feel bad. You wouldn't hate them. You wouldn't want to hurt them. You 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 feel bad for them. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, nice that you said. I mean, there's murderers down there too. People have like I know, but like through their. I, yeah, I understand that, but like these these people that did it, and they, well, I we'll, we'll get into it later. later yeah, we'll, talk, we'll question later. This it, is like it's it's the... there's a whole thing with that. Like it, like I'm not even gonna say it because it'll freak people out in the comments. So, <laughs> all right, we'll have a part two where we'll we'll start, we'll start questioning each other's ideas. Um, um but yeah, so uh, Jackson, what what is your insight? To, I, I I think, think it's the same way, like as you a little bit in front of, uh, as Porter where it's more of um like it is kind of a city in a sense where it's just kind of like it's the same way as heaven is it's just you like it's just the worst part of it it's just kind of like 
everyone's kind of more for themselves. You can, like you said, you see people, other people there, but it's just more of like, it's, you have to talk to them. It's not just, you, you don't know any of these people. Or if you do know these people, it's like, okay, you, you can, you have to like, um, kind of everyone for themselves or you kind of make groups or whatever, but it's make it more of just like, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not the same way I see it. It's just kind of, it like was a city. Everyone just, it's, it's, it's overpopulated. It's, um, like you said, you're saying you're always hung, like, people are always hungry. It's like, there's never, uh, there's not always enough food going around. So people are always constantly like fighting over things and it's, um, like stuff like that. It's just always just more, I, I see how the same way you do basically. Mm -hmm. Um, I, so I do have a question about your vision because my vision is a little, do you guys, um, like in your vision of hell, because mine is so time-based. Like there wouldn't be anything after it. Do you guys think there's anything after your version of hell or how, how does that work? Basically. So when Jesus comes back, this is the time when obviously there's like a holy war. And, um, mm -hmm. one of my, um, young, young adults, like minister or, or pastor, he said something that really resonated with me. He said that whenever this war is over, we have to come down and repopulate the earth and the whole cycle would actually could like return. Like it would, it would fall into chaos again eventually, but like it would like, it would, it would start over again. And like all the people that were saved to come back down. But I believe in this Holy war that you can go down and you can save people from hell. And I think that you can save them. Like, like even though they know they're like worthless and they're like, I'm so sorry. And all this stuff, I still believe that they're, there's got to be something, you know what I mean? But they oh. have to wait until Jesus returns in order for this to happen. You know what I mean? Because you did something a... so bad. You didn't even believe in Jesus. And he always gives second chances. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I have a, I have a really deep question about this. So in your vision of hell, do you think what happens is the devil like takes the earth over and then it's just basically a shit place. And then like, then afterwards, we have to come back and retake it back and then save it again. Is that what you're kind of getting at? Or? So no, my hell, my hell is a different realm. Okay. Yeah, but okay. I, I think Satan hates God. Say like, mm -hmm. I'm going to go off on a little oh, bit of obviously. a tangent. I'm going to go obviously. off on a little bit of a tangent here. There's, there's <laughs> four Kings of, there's four Kings of hell and there's eight Dukes. I don't know if this is like set, set in the Bible or anything, but this is what I learned from uh, a specific thing. I'm, you don't have to believe this or anything, but there's like, there's the Leviathan, there's Satan, then there's Lucifer. Lucifer is a fallen angel. Satan is the actual devil. So there's, there's, there, they are different people and they do different things. Um, and then there's, um, there's like the lust guy, but there's like a whole, whole of other dukes and they all represent negative emotions. So what's interesting oh. is I, I don't believe that they are there. They are in the actual realm of hell. I just think this is, this is the spot where the people go that they can feed energy off of them. You know what I mean? Or like use mm. them, use their, use their, use their painted suffering. Cause that's how these demons get power, but they actually reside on earth trying to trick people constantly. Cause that's how they get those people. They don't need them to go to hell to keep going, getting, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they just want more and they, they resent, they resent God so much that they hurt us because we are made in God's mm -hmm. image. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying to turn earth into hell. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If that mm -hmm. makes sense. I see that. Yeah. I guess that's what I, think I in LA. Yeah. That's what I, that's what <laughs> so, I believe. But so, um, Jax, is you, that, does that clear stuff up for you? you know, yeah. I mine? understand what you're saying. Okay. Jax, what do you think? The, uh, the, the same question after hell. Yeah. Yep. I was kind of thinking because I, I've heard of I, I don't really know much on all this stuff, but like I've heard that there's the seven rings and like kind of each one is just deeper than the last, and where it's just kind of like it's more of okay you get put here. Like, it's kind of the same way I felt like I thought about heaven, where it's like there's the entrance to it. Like you 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 got here, you messed up at some point to get here. Welcome in, and this is like your first level, and this is where it's like you know, in front of the LA where it's everyone's kind of like, everyone's main area. You can't like kind of you kind of stay here a while but then as like your punishment be more of you go farther down and maybe it's where it's like okay you only you're only here for this not like, not like you killed people or whatever but you're just you know you're just always a dick to someone or whatever you know it's like <laughs> you, you stay here until your time's up but it's like and then it's like you know you're until your time's up or whatever i don't really i've not really thought about too much on that that end but like is maybe like you keep going deeper it's like okay you spent your time here now you're gonna come here 
because this, this is your punishment. So each time, like every you have to spend like so many years here, and then it's your next level, then your next level, because this is again, this is your punishment. You being here forever. Maybe this is like where you're you're here the longest. It depends, like, um, but again, it really depends on what you've done. But like after that, you can't go anywhere. There's not really anywhere to go, and so that's where it's like, okay, you have your punishment. You like you've received your punishment, in like in front of us, like Jesus always gives second chances. Well, now we're going to like reincarnate you. We're going to see if you learned your punishment so that it could be as a person, as an animal, like really anything. It could just mean whatever uh, you want. Like, I don't know if you get a choice or whatnot more of, but like this kind of whatever, like a roll of a dice. And that's where it's like, okay, you're reincarnated. And this is now your next life. That's why like people talk about like, deja vu being like you've seen into your past life is like, this is where you start over again. And with what you've learned, you don't remember any of it, obviously, your new life, but like try to make things better. And then once you're done, we'll see how it happened. And then you get back to the whole heaven or hell. And then heaven, you, you, you did it. You won. You, you did everything right. Here you go. Or mm-hmm. it's you're not and you're, you're back to the seven rings. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely an interesting take on that. Mm-hmm. Um, one other thing that I kind of want, I don't know if um, you know, Jackson, you'll really have a, thing on this because this is very specific what is to it? me it, it porter it, you'll see All right. um okay so the one last thing that i kind of wanted to talk about that kind of goes with both heaven and hell is what happens to family you love if they go to hell and i this is one thing that i'm super scared about oh 100%. Say that i make it that i make it to heaven and i failed my family members of sharing the gospel or whatever it is to them and they end up in hell and in my in my thing there is no obviously as you heard my take on hell is there is no coming out of it there's just sitting in loneliness so my my thought is is like what what do you what do you see in in heaven of them because obviously you love them so 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 much so like i think that there's got to be like I don't know. We t- we touched on this just a little bit before, but the clone thing would be like you seeing a person that's not really in heaven and they're not comprehending, they're just they're just following the actions of how that person would be back on earth. But it's like, not where that's their soul is not there. where they their soul is not there. They're yeah. like it's just real the hollow mind shell. isn't there. I like that scares me so yeah. much because but then, like, you don't even you wouldn't even know it either. You wouldn't even know it. Yeah. And it's like it, but it scares me. I don't know why it scares me, but it really does. Well, and that's you know what, what gets weirder. Oh, go ahead. I was saying what gets weirder too is you don't know. And so that's that point. Is anyone in heaven really real? Like what, what percent of the what percent of the population that got in is clones? Whereas like, right. you might think in my mom got in, my dad got in, my brothers, my sisters, you know, my family's here. Like, what if you were the only one that actually got in? That, that's what scares me because and it's not even the fact of like how my interaction with them it's the fact like that if i would ever find out it would be like oh oh my gosh their soul is literally suffering right now and i'm happily talking to them without them even comprehending what what if it becomes like i can't like um i can't think what the word we called here but like you know they're in hell. Like you know this for a fact. You know you ask. You know you, you go to the temple. You're like God. You know where is this person? And he tells you truthfully, they're hell. This is this is what they're going through. It is like once on so many years, you can like basically go to God and be like, can I sign this paper? Like allowing them to like, they can't come to heaven, but like I can take them out of this. In um, is it like them? just 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 for the day and like take them somewhere? Like maybe maybe there's like a a separate fenced off area where it's maybe it's higher guarded by angels or something. Um, but where it's just more of like, it's heavily protected where you can go do things and you know, you can go fishing trips or whatever you really want or whatever your heart felt like. And then after the 24, 48, 36 hours, whatever you got approved for basically like mm-hmm. probation, it's like, okay, <laughs> now you have to wait the, whatever the length of time was again until you see them. Yeah. I know me and Porter, um, <laughs> Me and Porter talks about this up north, but what what is I w- I would like to hear again what you have to say about that. Oh, uh, okay. So 
I just want to touch on it because I, I think it's really, it's really, I think that would be like extremely terrifying and sad. Um, like, I don't even know if that, like, if it's worse to have a husk there than to have, than to know that there are souls actually in hell. You know what I mean? And that's why mm-hmm. I believe, like, we'll, we'll still be able to save these people whenever Jesus returns. Ooh. Um, but for me, like, I, I, I do not believe in that. That scares the heck out of me, dude. Like, like once you go up, I feel like when you talk to your family, you're like, where's um where's so and so and then jesus is you know what I mean? he's like sorry but they're not here i'm like well can i no, can i add some onto that real you know quick I mean? yeah go for it is like again they like god and jesus never play games they never try to tease you and what and trick you so why would why would they clone that'd be something that like that's Satan exactly that's something i that's true yeah is where i i think they but, would rather like tell you sorry didn't make it you know like in either there's a way to go see them like i said or maybe it's just it it is what it is we yeah. gave them a rule book they didn't follow it oh right. well i do have to i do have to say something on that and i totally agree and i know exactly where you're coming from and it's i guess it's not exactly what i truly believe it's just kind of an idea oh 100 um, percent. that's I don't where we're know, coming from because that's that's completely like i mean that's crazy and obviously God can do every anything. So that it I mean, him doing crazy stuff is not really out of the ordinary, but that's like a crazy concept to think about. And but like but like you said, that kind of got me thinking, like he wouldn't do anything, God wouldn't do anything to trick you. But at the same time, God is there to I guess make you like heaven is supposed to be a good place and supposed to make you happy. If you get there and you don't see your best friend, your parents, like how does that make you feel as like, Oh, like, so that's just my concept on it. It's like, it's kind of such a 50, 50 thing where it's like, mm -hmm. I want to touch on that. Decide. Like, what if like, you know, Inferno said, you know, the one person you've always waited for that Jesus is going to bring like out by hand to you was the person that didn't make it like mm-hmm. you know it's like it's, it, it, it can ruin your entire experience and you're there forever mm-hmm. so it's like you don't want to have a shitty experience for the yeah. rest of your life yeah and that's why i think that whenever jesus comes back like to earth because it says in the bible mm-hmm. he's going to you're afraid he's going to dry up israel's going to try to get destroyed but that's going to happen but just to touch on that so the reason why kale thought of this is ju- just to reiterate and to summarize what he said god loves us so much he doesn't want us to suffer in any way. And he's like, he's what, what Kale is implying is that he, he would prefer us to be happy, tend to feel the pain of them not being there. Mm -hmm. And we don't know whether or not he makes the decision. It's just a theory. You know what I mean? Cause like, yeah, God does stuff like he does stuff out, out of like our comprehension. So we don't know. It's just something he came up with and it's, a sc- it's a scary observation, but it's it's yeah, something also, that we can talk about. There's obviously. also the thought that because everybody's gonna have a different heaven, mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. also the thought that like because like Jax was saying before, like like obviously some of some of Porter's friends aren't my friends. Mm-hmm. So like in his heaven, he would have them there, but then it's even scarier, like, what if I make I make it to heaven? Porter makes it to heaven, but we're in com- two completely different heavens, and we, I'm talking to his clone over here, and he's talking to my clone over here. But like, I bring up the like the city idea, where maybe it's not like a completely different thing, but that because it's like really, there's so many people on this earth that are going to be coming to this yeah. place. How do you make sure everyone fits like puzzle pieces? Where it's mm-hmm. like it could be something where it's just how it bases the housing range, and where it's just like you know, for example, you know, you said you know. Poor friends might not be your friends, but you might maybe met him at a family reunion or something, or just maybe, you know, you stopped by one day and he had him over where it's like, it's your house, his house. And like, maybe like yeah. in between like the two in between yours is like his closest friends and like your closest friends where you guys are still really close to each other, but there's also like, it fits together more where, you know, it might yeah. be a, might be a 30 minute drive or maybe it could be like a snap of the fingers. You don't know, but like, it could like be a bit. I might be farther from you guys, or like farther from uh, from Porter, but it's like you're still there 
if you know what I mean. Right. It's like you're still in the same city. It just depends on how far you were or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's there's so much we can talk about about no, it because it's so it could be so complicated in so many different ways, and there's so many ideas that you could bring up. Oh, 100 so. percent. And that's why I love these conversations. I mean, right. That's, that's just cool. We, have we could every have time we go up north. Yeah, we could literally have an entire podcast just theorizing different possibilities <laughs> of heaven, like like and what it, you and said. It could go on days. Yeah, like. Like, mm-hmm. like we, 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 we tackled at the beginning what we think heaven and hell is going to be like, and now we just got into like, what happens if what it's if, heaven, but it's actually what, a trap. What if, yeah. <laughs> it's actually April fools, everybody. Like that's Porter, but he's a trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Kale. He's a trap. Exactly. It's a catfish. Um, like you're, oh, one of you said some, I can't remember what it was it actually was word for word, but like the whole like clones too, was like, you, know, you said he doesn't want to. Like God doesn't want to be like have you unhappy in like in his kingdom. Well, that's where it's like, is it something where um it is a clone, but maybe it's not like it's it's not like a husk, if you know what I mean. It's it's very real, like it's what they would do, it's what they would say. Yeah, that's why it's like you you know, because it's one of those things you can always think of. I, mean, I, I can look at you guys right now, like, what if you're clones? I mean, I'm talking from the screen, like you know, you guys aren't real. It's like, well, it's like you, you could think that too if they're real or not you can still think they're not real so it's all the time it's like do you trust that and so i mean i could walk into like a walmart and be like everyone here's fake and just like you know start throwing things around the aisles but it's just like it could be one of those things it's like it could be real they couldn't be so why 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 sit here and forever thinking about this just appreciate what you have in front of you yeah kind of and thing i think i think another thing is like once you're in heaven i i feel like if you if there's a god in front of you i feel like the problem is is how would you even question that in heaven because you're in heaven and the person that you dedicated your life to mm-hmm. is sitting right in front of you how can you be like i don't trust this or exactly. how can you be like how can you be like i want more i want to see my family when you're right in front of me and you're your only thing i need you know right. what i mean like mm-hmm. how can you how can you have the goal to start... ask for more how how can you ask for your family you know what i mean right. but yeah. i feel like he but he feels so, the love feel we feel like for that, others yeah Right. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I totally think he feels the love we feel. Jesus, Jesus in the Bible, it tells us to love other people. So I feel like that's also part of it. Like heaven has to have something uh-huh. to do with it. Yeah. So, yeah. But I mean, it's so much that we could go into. I'm going to fix I mean, it. I, yeah, I can. <laughs> and then, and then uh-huh. I'll wrap it up, I guess, because yeah. it's almost 12 it, o'clock. Yeah. And that's where um, I'll finish this and I'll say something. Okay. But like you know uh, how important saying like how you ask it's like you know it's one of those things it's like you're not even that you're asking like not like you, you know one hundred percent like this isn't my family like, like dude this is the wrong house dude like I'm, I don't like <laughs> nothing like any of these people like where's my family it's like I don't trust you and then you legit you're in his you're in his home and you're gonna start questioning him like that like just, it's like what do you do are you gonna get like kicked into hell it's just like you know like what's gonna happen there he's just like yeah. it's like, like you said it's like you don't know for sure so the only thing you can do is question and it's like you don't. I mean, you want someone in your own home questioning, like, if everything in your house is real. It's like, I feel like God would get annoyed with that. I feel like God has yeah. ha- has has patience, but, like, only so much patience. Mm-hmm. Like, or, I mean, I don't know, but... Well, if he had all the patience in the world, he'd... There would be no hell. Of, yeah, there would be no yeah. hell. But, I mean, you gotta understand. We're, like, the... I mean, yeah. It's just, it's kind of hard to... That's a good point. It's kind of hard to. I oh, so this is interesting. This is interesting. I think I think the reason why. Sorry, I'm. Oh God. No, no, just go, Uh, just go. uh, We're theorizing. (laughs) The re. I I think I think the reason why God and Jesus and like all the angels don't just do away with all the demons and the bad things of this world is because they're using them as tools to to make us more faithful believers. Because without As them, with all, all the pain that we experience, how can we come to love our God the way we do? Because right. he wants mm-hmm. us to come through us through choice instead of through fear. And mm-hmm. I'm sorry to shout out, I don't, I don't think I'm going to put this in, but I'm sorry to shout out uh, uh, Catholicism. You guys do tend to rule in fear and you guys scare people into believing and that's not the right way to do it. God does not want you to fear him. He wants you to love him. So. And you said you brought the choice thing. And too, he doesn't. God doesn't put you in hell. I just want to make that. I just want to make that clear. He does not send you there. You choose. You choose. Yeah. 
You, it you is your to choice be with him or to be away from him. That's yeah. how it. Yeah, it is. Well, yeah, he does not thing. send you there. Yeah. You choose where you go. Exactly. Like it's your own. Yeah. It's your own actions, but that's where it's like. No, it's not your actions. Um, it's your choice. Well, your actions. I mean, that's the thing. It's your. You know, yeah. you can't make. Like, I'm not gonna wake up and be like, I'm gonna go to hell in like 45 years. You know, I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. It's like, it's your choices. It's. I think I mean, honestly, it's more of personally. Personally, I know. I mean, obviously, there's a fear factor that. Because, I mean, really, how can you say, I know I'm going to go to heaven without having, like, a a little, you know, yeah. like, yeah. a little, like, am I? But um, in, in my heart, I, like, 99% without that, like, little thought in the back of my brain that says, you're, you're not a good person, you're not going to do this, you're not going to go there. Mm-hmm. But, like, for me, I know that, like, I mean, obviously, it's different for other religions, and I don't mean to hate on it, but if for me, Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and that's why I'm going to heaven, because I truly, yeah. truly believe that he did that for me. So that's kind of just where exactly. I come from. And that's all you need. Good. Right. At the end of the day, whatever you do on this earth, doesn't it like if you just believe in Jesus, you're saved, because he died for your sins. Mm-hmm. That contract was mm-hmm. was secured to to 2000 to uh 2000 and 24 years 24. ago <laughs> yep. yeah. that's where i think too how like i feel so long ago but it really wasn't that long ago yeah, yeah. like but uh there's something else i didn't add on real quick before we end it um it was you're talking about how he does oh how like, they don't they don't like just kill all like everyone in hell they don't kill all, uh, all the devils and all that it's like you said, you know, it's my choice where it's like, if there was no bad, is there really any good at that point? You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you have to have, you know, do you want to, like, you got to come by choice. You, you have to make, you have to make options at that point where they got rid of one option. Then there's only one option. So there's like, there's no really, like you said, it's like, you have, you have to come to a choice and there's no choice at that point. And so that's where it's like, you got to like, again, yin and yang kind of thing. There's can't be one without the other and having to use them, but it's like, I don't know. It gets it gets interesting. It gets deep, like you said. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just episode. I'm just gonna add this one more time. I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to say. But just proof proof that even 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 beings in heaven have choice. Lucifer, he yeah. was an angel. He was the most skillful mm-hmm. musician in heaven, mm-hmm. and he ch- he chose the wrong way. Like he chose to go against God, and he wanted to seize power. I mean. Just crazy. If that is free that's, thought. That is free, free thought in heaven. Mm-hmm. Free so that is that and is people, proof that you and, that there will be more than just bliss. Exactly. And that's and what people, I just said too. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I said a little. So sorry. Oh, you go ahead. You go. You go ahead. I was saying it's like I saw like, you start questioning like he only has so much patience. Could it be something where it's like you did something? Like, like that's the thing is hard though too, is that there's no hunger, there's no food, or like you know, there's not like material, you're not, you're not really materialistic there. So there's not like stealing and robbing. Like that's the thing is like I think it'd be harder to mess up once you're there, but like there could still be things you can do to mess up and be like, you know what? Mm. No, you're out and get out. And that's like you said, you know, fallen angels stuff like that. Yeah. And, and, I, and you have to remember that only applies uh, to angels. Sorry, go kill. Um, yeah, I, and people say so much like, and I think this is kind of proof to why you should believe that there is a God and I don't want to get into this too much because it's, this isn't the topic, but one of the biggest things that I've learned is that people like people who are anti Christian or like just don't have a religion. They say, well, why, if there's a God, why, why is there so many terrible things that are happening? Well, you see it right in the Bible with Lucifer he literally chose to leave heaven Mm -hmm. and people on earth have a free will. It's the same exact thing. People can do what they please. I mean, that's, that's how we decide free will is how God decides whether someone goes to heaven or not. Yeah. God doesn't decide just to clarify, but yeah. Yeah. Well, (laughs) yeah, he he does. It's, it's like, well, the people who believe in his son. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's really, it's really, yeah. It's but it's, it's just a that very one complicated prop. It's yeah. It's just there's so many factors, and that's just one of them. But it's like when I said, in, in heaven or not, dude. Um, 
God doesn't like, you know, decide or whatnot, but it's kind of thing too. It's like you get to the gate. Who's in like, I mean, like kind of thing is you had to do something right to get, like you said, if you believe in Jesus, it's like, you're, you're in, you're without a path, you're without, um, you get a free pass, you're in. But as people that don't believe it in different religions, it's like, is it someone else that's at the gate for like per like religion that like believes in the main yeah. heaven, but like it, then it gets broken down into a difference where it kind of becomes like airport security. Like just go here, go here, go here if you're this or whatever. And then you have your own like line of do you do everything right to get in where it's like, that's, I guess where you could say like, you know, God doesn't tell you if you get in or not, but it's like, there's other things that will tell you. Yeah. And I've heard of like, I believe that. If, mm-hmm, which I, I've, I've talked to my, uh, my cousins a little bit where it's like, um, the the seven fruits where it's like if you don't believe in jesus if you don't believe in this and this and this but you bear the seven fruits then you're still allowed in where there's still you can do you can get in without believing certain things but that's if like that's if like you never did this you never did that and you just like you basically followed the bible like a rule book every single day of your life I just and wanna, then you could still get in i just want to clarify yeah. on jax's point this is just mm-hmm. a theory by the way guys this is just do, theory. do yeah, not theory. do not take this like oh. what he just said yeah. So I'm... I kind of have another thing um, on that. The problem is, is with this, with the religion thing, is people have been brought up just like me, but in another religion. And one of the big questions that we'll probably cover in another topic is what happens if somebody who is a very, very, very good person, but they were brought up in another religion and kind of couldn't leave the religion, um, what happens if that, like, they they can't go to heaven then if it's only Jesus? I mean, if, if it's only one religion, if it's only Christianity, that works. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. That's just something that we In, can talk about some other time. Yeah. That, and I just add on uh, that, I, I think, like, in, in that regard, that's, that's where Jackson comes into play. When you die, you see a road that goes down it's a highway and then you see a a really steep ass staircase it goes Mm -hmm. freaking almost straight up and you have to climb that son of a gun for like weeks and you're hungry you're starving you hate it by the way and and like this isn't the free pass like with jesus because obviously if you believe in jesus Mm -hmm. you get a free pass but then jackson's tests come in there you know what i mean exactly and that's what like you know the highway has like a car you can take like you'll have to drive like 30 minutes it's really easy and but there's like, like treats. There's treats. Like, there's like an entire buffet right there. Mm-hmm. And just but it's a like in the car. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, there's food in the car. Hang and on, a taxi saying. drive. You don't even have to drive. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it, it's a it's a drivable test though. You don't even have to do anything. <laughs> and it's already South charged. The charging station was right there. Yeah. The charging station was right there. Tesla, you don't even have to look at the road. Like, and yeah, there's exactly. food in the back seat. Yep. Yeah. But it's like, you know, because it's like, it's the easy way. You don't want the easy way. You want, you know, you, you want to work for it. And that's where it kind of shows people that are going to work for it and they get better. Um, but we were, uh, what were we, you said something about the whole indifferent, really different religion. Like, yeah. I mean, there's, like you said, there's some, there's some countries where you have to leave this way. Right. And whatnot. And you don't have a choice. Otherwise, um, they kill you. Like, literally. Exactly. Yeah. Like, literally, like in Middle East, there's a lot of that stuff. And that's where it's like, personally, I'm, I'm still on the fence with that whole, like, the jesus card were like oh if i just say jesus died for my sins i'm just i'm free no you well, have to believe I I don't want to believe in that but you have to remember I, people that do bad things don't believe in jesus they don't have it, faith it, yeah so it's it, like you there's a you, yeah. you trade it and you know what and i mean if they, if they say they do they really don't they really don't exactly they and can just the, they can come to the front gate do. and be like they're the kind of person that, to get to the gate and it'd be like oh uh, i deserve to be here because i believe in jesus instead of being like i don't deserve to be here exactly exactly i mean i deserve Yo. the difference there's a if you and then if they you just drop this okay drop door. okay watch this <laughs> right here ready so i'm walking up to heaven this is a bad first person first i'm walking up to heaven guy at the front gate asked me why do you why do you des- why do you deserve to be here and i'm the bad person i go i deserve to be here because jesus died died for my sins and then this is the other one you you see how kind of arrogant that sounds? Like yeah, like, I deserve to be here because Jesus died for my sins. Because someone else did something for me, you know. That's someone, why I'm here. Someone else walks up. Why do you deserve to be here? I don't really, but I truly believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. That's that's a whole different the, thing. Like completely fetal position, still, like this. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Again. 
and that's where like, it, it's your mercy. Um, mm-hmm. but that's where it's like you know, like you said too, it, it, it's it, it follows the same line, but like the tone is just completely different. The tone right. is just like gone. But like you said too, it's like people that that do that don't believe in that. And if like I was like, if they do, that's where the seventy two versions come in. That's like a whole different like can of worms, where it's just like, I, I could see that more of now. But just to me, it like I just I don't know if it's just how I was raised or what, but like to, to be like, I'm here because someone else died for me like kind of like someone else did something for me that's why i'm here even if i deserve it or not it's still that's why i get to be here because someone else did something for me that's kind of where it's like i can draw like a gray where it's like i would i would rather like work to be there than in, and instead of just being told like mm-hmm. yeah because some some other dude died t- two thousand years ago and just said i'll i'll I don't know, i'll take everyone's sin you know from here and from now on it's like no, that's 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 an easy way, and I'm just, I don't know if that's how I was raised, or that's just my way of thinking. But like, yeah, it just doesn't sit right. I I do I do agree with you on that. Like where it's like, it's I I think it's like a little bit of both because, but I do think it's you have to truly believe that he took your sins. Like truly, it's really hard to believe that. Deeply. Like once you actually yeah. unlock that, you gain like spiritual energy. It's like you know, it's like a mana bar. In a video game, you literally, ab- I'm not even kidding. You obtain that. And I have. It's all like, fun and games until the bar God comes across the title of your screen. Yeah, like it, it's insane. Like it's literally like new scale has been unlocked. Yeah, I'm not even kidding with you. And like, real, it's, it's, I can feel it. I can feel the it's energy. Just, it's just faith 100. <laughs> and, and to be real, I don't know. I don't know. And I, I'll keep trying and attempting to believe more and more in that. Mm-hmm. But like from where I am right now, I don't really know if I hundred percent believe in that because Same. there's all doubts in your brain. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm a young kid. I'm fifteen years I'm fifteen years of age. So like for me to a hundred percent believe in something that happened two thousand years ago, I haven't seen. It's hard for a a young brain to comprehend that and believe in it truly. And I hope I can get to that a hundred percent of belief someday. And but like even when I go to church, I take communion. Dude, it like you said, you can feel it through your oh. soul. Like you can yeah. feel the you happiness. Feel when they're just, preaching. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like you can like for me, every time I take communion it fills you up. When the pastor like when the pastor like starts saying, Take and eat, this is the true like I can feel my like what I think are my sins. Mm-hmm. rising off my shoulders exactly you feel the weight lift i thought i honestly thought i was the only one because I, I do get like a weird feeling and not good like mm-hmm. with like hmm, how does this feel kind of stuff i kind of get like goosebumps it... and like a shock exactly goes spine. yeah exactly like you feel re-energized mm-hmm. which i think is another reason to even believe in god because it's like dude it's, it's like, like you don't just get that every single time for no reason it I doesn't just, I happen just... like that I just thought it was my social anxiety for that, like for a while. Cause I did, like I don't like going to big public places for long periods of time, and so it's like definitely when I was neutered. Like so I'm very new to this as well. Like you know, it's watching here. Like these guys have been here since birth. I've been here maybe since like a year ago. So like, I, it's, you, this is all still new to me. Jax, you have to remember though, we're all still learning in our spiritual journey. Mm-hmm. You are never, you're never, you're finished. never done. You're never, yeah. yeah. Done. So whatever. Like whenever you say like, um, oh, they have years ahead of me. They're this and that. It's nobody. They we're don't. all growing Dude, together nobody, as a family. There's nobody a hundred percent. Yeah, we're like, holding hands together. All. We're we're it's, trying to yeah. help help each other out. You know, the only person yeah. that ever knew a hundred percent of what happens is Jesus. Mm-hmm. So true. And and yeah. he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't a very straightforward person either. If you look at the Bible. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting to see how he, he was, or he thing. wasn't. He, he wasn't. He, he worked in really he mysterious would, ways. Yeah, he. Yeah, he definitely did. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, this is uh our fourth episode. So mm. you know. Yep. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth, this sure. is our fourth episode of you know, the Trailer Boys. So <laughs> another deep fifth. dive into deep conversations and topics and stuff but yeah i hope you guys liked it any final thoughts with you guys i'm kind of um, all wrapped up yeah the only thing i could really say is that, um my brain is kind of running on a high right now and i can't <laughs> wait to talk about it again 
Yeah. I mean, we're I'm going to be able to sleep for a while. <laughs> we're going to be shutting the cameras off here, and then we'll be like, okay, where do we leave off? We make a whole new section for the next episode. Just finished up, like, right, probably tonight. Yeah, this is <laughs> this, is, this could this. could really turn into its own series by itself. It probably oh, could. Just but talking about yeah, the hell more. theology, mm-hmm. about the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Or... And, I, and I really can't wait for the next one with you guys, or even oh, to yeah. add someone else. Yeah. That would be 100%. freaking awesome. More point of views, the better. Add, though. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But um, like... yeah, it was fun talking to you, Jackson and Porter, and uh, you too, man. I really had a really good time. So, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe. Make sure to yeah. comment in this section. Uh, tell us what you guys want us to cover. Um, we're here. We'll we read now. comments. So, uh, yeah. we're really interested in to see what you guys think about what we discussed. Anything's any of your theology Anything stuff. You pitch in. Tell us. Yeah, I think you want us to go into detail, more detail about next time or something. And, like that. Yeah, if you guys and, want to cover uh, more topics. And so. if you if you comment, we'll we'll get to it right away too. So mm-hmm. we'll we'll cover that as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All and right. uh, take care. Bye. Later.